Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and I'm going to take a look in on my cocoon only bins. Started with 500 cocoons on 515 of 19. Let's look at the red wigglers and see what we've got. Okay, so let's have a look and see what these little guys have been doing. They got the shredded carrot feed as well this last week. Okay, so here's the shredded carrot. I'll just try and pick that up and, and see if we've got a little tiny worm ball. And we do. We have a worm ball of little tinies. That is a ton of tinies. Look at those little guys. So, yeah, not cl not counting them. No way. But I uh, just wanted to show you that, to me, that looks like hundreds of the little guys all together here. So I'm going to cover them back up. I think that's enough food for them. I'm going to cover them with their little blankie that uh, Aunt Emily made. And... Oh, dang it. I'm going to go wash my hands before I finish the rest of this and put my hands in the European Nightcrawlers. All right. We are back with the European Nightcrawler bin. And we're going to do the same thing. I did the same shredded carrots over here and let's see what we got yep as you can see um, the babies although they're the same age as the red wigglers they are bigger but I don't see any indication that there are less of them. Which I had thought that really you only got one out of a cocoon. But looking at these guys, you know, there's, there's just as many of them as there is with the Red Wigglers. So I was probably wrong about that. But they're not even just in with the carrots. They're they're all over like, still roaming around from when they hatched I guess but I'm gonna put them in their little carrots back over here and just kinda fluff up the rest of the the bin make sure that everything looks good but you can still see that even in the areas that don't have the carrot still have plenty of worms throughout. They do like to congregate in the little corners and pockets. So these guys don't look like they need any more food either. So I will cover them back up and give them another week and we will peek in on them. But I'm extremely pleased. I, you know, I think that the, you know, the ability for cocoons to travel from one place to the other, I was a little worried they'd be too delicate or something, but these guys are tough. Let me know what you think. You know, how long should we go to just wait for them to get to be mature and start pulling out mature worms and see how many mature worms I get in three or four months? what would be the appropriate amount of time to say this is how many worms I got out of 500 cocoons. Okay, so thank you for hanging out with me and my baby worms and everybody have a good night.